We've been waiting for you downstairs. Are you not coming to join us for tonight fellowship? I'll join you tomorrow, okay? I'm very tired right now. Tomorrow? Uh... But this is what you've been saying for the past three weeks now. I don't understand what is wrong with you. I don't see how you, who laid the foundation of everyday fellowship in your home, will begin to backslide. Every day your love for the things of God is waxing cold. It's a very stressful day for me. And I'm sorry, I said I would join you from tomorrow, okay? You neither read your Bible, you neither go to church, or even attend weekly services. What is it? What is wrong with you that you can't tell me? Me, your wife? This is a stressful day. I'm just stressed out. Stress? Did you say stress? Okay. Tomorrow will be another stressful day. From the look of things right now, tomorrow will be another stressful day. Why are you sounding like this? I really don't like that sound. Uh, that I feel in the last three weeks does not mean that I'm not serious with what I'm saying or serious with my spiritual life. What I'm saying is, I'm tired. So tomorrow I will join you. Period. Okay. Anyway, I. I saw the pastor today and he asked me to tell you he wants to see me. He wants to see me? Why? Is he about the same issue? Yes. I was beginning to get scared that something is wrong with my husband. I had no choice but to run to him. Mom, we are still waiting. Why is it taking you so long to bring Daddy out? Jane, if we should go and start with the praises, I will join you this one. I'm talking to you. Can't you see that I am busy? <sighs> Is it compulsion I must follow you to choir practice? But we used to go to practice together. What did you just say now? We used to. That was then. But now, as you can see, I am very busy. <gasps> Don't you have eyes? Sure. I'm so surprised that you are backsliding in everything. Even the pastor is beginning to notice. Look, Favor. As I said earlier, I am very busy. I mean, can't you just go where you're going and leave me alone? What is your problem? May God have mercy on you and Sophia.
praise and glory, we sense and give and all of power and might be us to the Lord forever and ever. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In our pattern of prayer tonight, Daddy will lead us in prayer. Miriam will lead us in prayer. After Miriam Jane, you will take over and I will conclude. We will pray for the success of this family. We will thank God for his kindness upon us, his protection upon our family. And also we will pray for Daddy's business, for his construction company, that God should continue to bring contracts to him. Right now, we will pray. Daddy, lead us in prayer. Daddy, lead us in prayer. Told you about. Oh, is it the party? Yeah, the party. Oh, darling, I'm not comfortable for you to go to that party. I I had a terrible dream the previous night. So you think the dream has something to do with the party? I don't know, but what I saw in that dream, oh gosh, is not worth experiencing. So what did you see in the dream? Going. We can talk about it. Again.
the African thing, you're mm-hmm. coming at 6 o'clock, you're coming yeah, at 8 o'clock, yeah, yeah. people trickle in at even 10. So, oh, that's that's that. That. so where's your friend? Uh, Sly? Oh, Sly, he, he went to the roadside, he went to pick up somebody from the yeah. lost at the junction. So, so what, what is in here? Ah, uh, you know, gifts. <laughs> It's not like it's a fashion where I get married, you get married, everybody gets married, and we all get married, you know? <laughs> well, okay. More like on a serious note, uh, I don't think it's an adventure, so I'm not rushing into it like that. But uh, the minute I find the right girl, boom, mm-hmm. you know? Even if it takes the eternity? <laughs> no, of course not. But uh, listen, I, in the meantime, I'm, I'm having fun. You know, that reminds me. Yeah. How difficult was it to convince your wife? No, that wasn't easy. But I told her, you know, it was your party and everything, and everything. And she made me promise I was going to come back on time. And um, yes, the family man got to go home. <laughs> I mean, like. So like, like now, I yeah. now. <laughs> Don't worry. the minute the other guys get in, the the earlier we can get out. Yeah, man. Very, very. Bro, very, very. I just support chills, you know. <laughs> oh, my. Hey, that's my victory. Oh, Jesus. 
Jesus, Lord. I pray God, you may know that is the past. Guys, change, man. Now, what's up with your friend's life, man? He's not coming again, man. No, I'm sure he's just gone, friend. He's just leaving. He'll be here soon. He'll be here soon. Don't worry about it. But I always have that in mind. Okay, because. from you and I know you can do it for me. Okay, what is that favor? Anything for my princess? Ooh, I need it to make him drink. Raymond, what do you mean make him drink? We, we've oh, been drinking already. I mean getting drunk. Why? <sighs> Sophia asked for that and I know you can do it for her. Sophia, why? Please, that's her request. And it's really, it's really be doing it for me. Uh -huh. I'll take you to the planet you've never been before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to go to that planet. <sighs> I still don't understand why. I have to Just stop. Do it and come take your reward, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
a Daniel has come to judgment. Thank you very much, Daniel. From this moment, I will promote you to the commander of my 300 million demons in the east side of the earth. And I will leave you of the assignment. I will finish it myself. Now, let me give to this man the package I have prepared for him. Party last night, you got drunk and he said sleep on. Remember? My God. My God. Wait, 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 wait. Be honest with me. I, I hope. I, I, I hope. I, I hope we did. We, we didn't do anything. Well, what I'm thinking is what you're asking me. Oh, <laughs> so hot. My God. God, I'm sorry. Oh my god! You were hot! Oh my god! Stop! Stop! Don't touch me! I don't touch me! I don't touch me! I don't see me again! You're fired! You're fired! Don't come to my office again! You're fired! You're fired! What is wrong with him? The sex was good. That, that, that was the least I could do. Looks like your guy's coming up your door. Hey, Ray! Good morning! How are you? Come over. Come have some juice. We're trying to wind down from last night. Yeah, your guy's crazy, man. Why is he angry? <laughs> well, you get over it. The minute he gets home, you get over it. Sweetie, I have to check my friend. I hope he didn't hurt her. Sure, go check it out. Don't mind him. I'm beginning to think maybe he, he thinks he's lost his heavenly glory. <laughs> Next time you should walk on him now. <laughs> you come around. Nice you come around. Let him cool off. Father of um, 
the Children's Emergency Ward. Yes, and also the expansion of the already existing wards. And I need, yeah, for how much? 16.5. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay, Mr. Charles, uh, let me clean my phone. I'm going to turn Hello? Honey, baby, how are you? Yeah? Where? Which, which hospital? Okay, okay, okay. Excuse me. Good afternoon, Doctor. Yeah, good afternoon. Um, please, uh, I'm the father of Jane and, and Miriam Williams. I heard they were rushed to the emergency unit and... Uh, I, I, I don't know, please. Uh, are you the doctor? Are you Mr. Raymond Williams? Yes, I am. I'm the father. Oh, it was a terrible accident. I'm afraid we lost it. Wait, 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 where's my wife? I'll take you there. Come on. Mike, what is it? I'm in the hospital. Yes. Not good. Not good. I, I'm just coming from the shopping center side, sir. Something terrible has happened. What? The building structure has collapsed. What? With some workers buried in the rubbles. Collapsed? Yes, sir. How? It's a terrible sight, sir. What? 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 A building? What? 300 million ever collapsed? How come? I, I, I'm so sorry. So what do you mean? What happened? My children, you collapsed my building. What is happening? Oh my god! 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 Mr. Raymond, your story is very pathetic. But I must tell you that your request for another one is pretty impossible. Because you have no more collateral security. And I can't afford to go to jail because I want to help a friend. I want to be told. The board met last week and resolved that you'll be given just six months to pay back all the money you always pay. Else, all the property you used as collateral shall be gone. Are you serious? J just six months? Yes, six months. Just six months. If you don't mind. Honey, where are you going to? I'll be back. Where are you going to now? I'll let you know when I come back. say you need a loan of a hundred million naira? Yes, that's right. I need to service the loan I took from the bank and 
to finish the project and also um, to get another one. That's a lot of money. That that is a lot of money. I know. Uh, <laughs> you have a collateral? What a collateral? Yeah. Ray, I'm not gonna dish out a hundred million naira and not have a collateral. This is a lot of money we're talking about here. I need to make sure that I my money is secured. But Ben, you you're my friend. No, Why no, would no. I need a collateral for? <laughs> I know, but Ray, this is business. All right, this is business. Let's let's put friendship one side. In the business world, I need a collateral. I I need to make sure that hey, my money comes back intact and even more. You know, so tell you what, just go get the collateral and you have your money. You having fun? Yes, I'm having fun, darling. There we go. Going anywhere. I don't understand. In fact, no more prayers or fellowshipping in this place again. Because I haven't seen any change or changes that your fellowship has caused in this family. In fact, things have become worse. I see no reason why you go out to go and pray to someone who doesn't even care about you. So, no more fellowship in this house anymore. No more. Tell him, why are you sounding like this? God can never change. He still remains the same. And he has never abandoned us. We're only passing through trials. What trials? You call these trials? Trials that will take away the lives of my children? Trials? Trials that will collapse a building worth over 300 million naira and left me ever indebted to a bank? You call that trials? No! That is not trials. I call that punishment. Unto punishment. No more fellowship or church going in this house and again. No more. My husband, my darling, God is the only one that can see us through this. There are people out there that are in worst cases. Have you forgotten Job in the Bible? He passed through a whole lot of trials and tribulations, even worse than us. So do I look like Job's cousin? Or one of his brothers. Should I partake in any of Job's trials because of Job? What, what, what business do I have with him? Nothing. Why would I be the one to go through these problems? Why? I have said it and I'm saying it again. Do not go for any fellowship or any church. And I mean it. If there's any part I remember in the Bible, it's the portion that says, Wives, submit to your husbands. Submit to your husbands. And when I say no more fellowship in this house, I mean no more fellowship in this house. Have you listened to? Good day. Good day. You must be Mr. Raymond Williams. Um, I am from um, Global Bank. My name is Andrew. I've been directed by Global Bank Limited to eject you and your family from this building. Henceforth, this building now belongs to Global Bank. And you have just six hours to do that. Is there a proof or a letter to that effect? But my, my, my lawyers wrote your bank appealing for more time. I don't know about that. I, I'm only acting on instructions. Oh God, please, no. Please. You can take everything we have. Please. Just take everything we have. Just leave our shelter for us, please. Don't do this to us, please. Uh, Madam, I, I, I am sorry. I, I am only a servant. There's nothing I can do. My hands are tied. 
Like I said, you have just six hours. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus! God, why have you done this to us, oh God? God, have you abandoned us, Jesus? Oh, my Father. God, why? Where are you, oh God? God, where are you, oh King of Glory? to go see the commissioner. I'm also here for the same purpose. <clears throat> Listen, Mr. Man. The commissioner gave me the list of the contractors he has an appointment with today. Please, I'm also on that list. I mean, I have an appointment with him today. Well, I am sorry, your name is not on the list. Brother, why don't you just check the list and see if my name is there or not? You are Mr. Mr. Raymond Williams. And uh, the name of your company? Giant Strikes Engineering Firm. Such name and company are not on the list. Brother, please. Uh, can I check the list? Let, let me just... Which know. list? I said your name is not on this list. But it's list. not possible now. Because I made the application myself. And I have an appointment to see the commissioner today. You, and you're passing people. It's unfair now. Your name is not on the list. And you're shouting. I've been here for almost three hours. Say me see what now. Please. No, 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 no. Please let me go and You see can't him. go and see him. Go, so I'm trying to block him. Listen, Mr. Ma, if you don't go that up here now, I will be forced no, to no, I have to see the commissioner. People have been coming to see Get that no, up. I, I have to see the commissioner. Get that up. Don't let me see the commissioner. Stay good with him. Let me see the commissioner. Stay good. I'll always be with you. 
I would work hard and sort my car business would sustain us. Till you bounce back to your feet. Please. You come with me. That reminds me, the pastor says. I don't care about what the pastor says. And I'm not going for any night video, please. In the time of our difficulties, that is when we need God the more. 
he will show us mercy. He's the only friend we've got now. Why is he taking your friend so long to answer us? Right. You go to church every day on a daily basis. I'm sure you tell him about our problems. So why is he not answering? Does he want to wait till we are dead and we are buried before he can do something about our situation? I don't understand why you talk like a backslider. Can't you be patient? Did you say patience? Patience. How patient do you want us to be? When I walk around the streets every day in search of a job as a building engineer. Every day I go out the streets. I cannot even find a kitchen line to do. And you say patient? It's as if people reject me. As if I have a cause on my head. And you say to be patient? To be patient? Darling, this is a trial of our faith. Don't let it break you down. God is still with us. God has decided us. He has decided us to I can see you need this night for your deliverance. Before the devil will make you say more abominable things. Who needs this? Don't provoke me, oh. Don't provoke, don't provoke me at all. Do not provoke me. Don't. Just go if you want to go. you and your family from this building. Oh, Jesus!
drive out the streets. I cannot even find a kitchen line to do. And you say, patient? It's as if people reject me. As if I have a cause on my head. And you say to be patient. To be patient. Anyway, <clears throat> I can give you fifty thousand for the watch. <laughs> just to help you, just to help. You. My brother, yeah. my brother. Look now, this is a Rolex, original. I'm telling you, you can't get this thing for anything less than two hundred thousand naira. Bro, it's not working. Check out. Look at it. You sell watches, you know. Look at it. Anyway, just because of the way you spoken to me. I'll just make it 80,000. No, 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 bros. 80,000 is good, but I'm looking at like 100. 100 I can't go lower than 100,000. It's okay. I okay. can offer you 80,000 cash. I'm not going to owe you. <sighs> just to help you. It's not as if I need it. Okay. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. Yeah. Here you go.
Baby. I'm done. You're looking good. Thank you. Ready to go. Here is your birthday present. Happy birthday. This is the 4th of April. Uh -huh. I forgot. <laughs> How come I didn't remember today is my birthday? Happy man. <laughs> Uh, oh, thank you so much, my darling. Thank you. You're welcome. Wait, wait, wait. What, what's in this box? Go ahead and open it. Mmm. 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 Oh, but that's really nice. What could of you really? Here. <clears throat> wow. Oh, my lord. This is a Rolex wristwatch. Most expensive watches in the world. This, this will go for like two hundred thousand naira. If what would you buy? A watch is expensive. Doesn't matter, you know. My husband, I can spend one million dollars on you without regretting it. And don't act as if you don't buy me expensive gifts. I know, but but I mean, come on. That's pretty one for me, please. And you? <laughs> and you? Oh, a virtuous woman who can find. Oh no, this is lovely. Oh yes. Oh, I feel blessed. Mm. You like it? I love it, darling. I love it. I love it oh, I love you. <laughs> oh, God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. My brother, I'm, I'm sorry. Take it. Oh, no. <laughs> no, take it. No, take it. I, I, I'm okay. not saying again. Is it because of the hundred thousand? No, 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 no. I can make it hundred thousand. No, no, no. Really, I don't want again. I, I really don't want again. I think, I think. Um, I'm, I'm not selling again. It's okay. I, I can give you hundred and twenty thousand. I'll give you hundred and twenty thousand no. cash. No, no, my brother. Thank you. I'm sorry I disturbed you. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I can make it one forty. I'll pay you cash. Just, I'll make it one forty for you.
I don't want to take him to the hospital. <laughs> okay, it's all right. I will give you some money to take him to the hospital. And after that, I will organize the prayer team to pray for him. God must prevail over this situation. Be strong, okay? Thank you. This is 20,000 naira. Go and take him to the hospital. I will visit you, people, okay? The husband has done so much for this church, and we can't abandon him at this point in time. Very much, Can we pray? God, have seen the affliction of this year, daughter. I pray to you. Are what you, love. you are what you love. You are what you love. You are what you love. Worthy to be praised, ready man. You are what you love. Ready man. You are what you love. Ready man. You are what you love. going to intercede on behalf of our brother, Mr. Raymond Williams, who is now a captive of the devil. Remember, the Bible says that even the captive of the mighty shall be delivered. Therefore, we are going to intercede as directed by our senior pastor. We are going to stand in the gap and break all strongholds pulling down every principality Amen. and free the servant of God. Shall we pray? In the mighty name of Jesus. In the blood of name of Jesus. Father, King of glory. The Lord of mercy. The Lord of mercy. Father, King of mercy. For time is the level of me. Lord, God of me. The Bible says, whatever you can pass on. In Jesus' name.
yeah, yeah, just like a dream happened for real. Lord, give me sight to see tomorrow. Don't let me see. Don't let me see. Don't let me stray. Well, I had to go for a meeting because I deemed it necessary that we meet. I know you have been waiting to hear from us as regards your application and uh, before I get into that, there's something that's very important that I really need to discuss with you. And it has to do with the fact that you are a Christian. And as a Christian, it behoves of us that we, we learn to dress in a very decent manner. Uh, it is good for you to make sure that you do not serve or make yourself a tool for the enemy, the devil. So it's just a piece of advice. Try and make sure you dress more decently whenever you're outside. I'm trying to tell you that um, you should not use yourself as a tool for the enemy, the devil. Um, being that as it may, uh, that is just an advice. Uh, I'm really sorry. I'm afraid I will not be able to give you the appointment as my secretary because of um, some company policies and the fact that uh, we couldn't actually get a place for you. But I have been able to get you a little token that I think might be able to keep you up till you're able to find a job. Uh, I'm sorry and I wish you all the best in the life of your His family and his salvation. Who is the person that? Trust me. Not someone you need to know my love. Now, let's go. Let's go. Cause me sorrows. number to give to us. With a hand clapping offering, shall we welcome Sister Favor of the Soul Reapers to present to us a special number titled, Come and Make My Heart Your Home. numbers titled come and make my heart your home this song is to permit the Holy Spirit to come into our hearts and dwell and if the Holy Spirit dwells in our hearts we will be able to resist temptation and sin and this will cause the devil to lose I pray that as we listen to this song the Holy Spirit will minister to us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Amen. 